Hi guys and welcome back to Belle's Books. I'm super excited to be making videos again. I feel like it's been ages, it's been like four months or something since I've last made a video and part of the reason for that was because I'm really busy, I've had uni stuff on, I'm in my third year and I've been writing my dissertation and writing essays and applying for masters and that's just been very very time consuming but the other part of the reason was just kind of like I don't know, I kind of forgot how much I enjoyed making the videos and then today I was on YouTube and I was watching the videos like and I was watching other people's book reviews and I was really enjoying doing that and I just kind of thought why don't I get back to making videos again so hopefully this is the first in a continuous consistent stream of videos but we'll see so today I'm going to be talking about Silka's Journey so this book which I read just after Christmas is the sequel to The Tattooist of Auschwitz, which I've previously reviewed on this channel. And I have to say, I seriously loved this book. It was an absolute page turner. I couldn't put it down and I finished it so quickly. I think literally within three hours of starting it. Uh, my family were watching a movie and I just sat on the sofa and read this because I was like too consumed to put it down. I really enjoyed reading it, which is slightly weird because obviously this is a book about concentration camps, work camps, um, abuse suffered by women during the Second World War and just after the Second World War. Um, and as such, it wasn't so much as in, of an enjoyable read as in a very emotional one. It was extremely sad and after I finished it, I just remember I kind of just sat there and then I went over to my mom for a hug and I was like, it was so sad. And she was like, yeah, I could have told you that. And I was like, yeah, you could have. Um, but yeah, it was really sad. And I'm very, very glad I read it. So without putting any spoilers out there, I will say that there are many, many violent and abusive um, and very graphically detailed scenes in this book. Obviously, this is historically accurate. Experiences like those are ones which happened to real women, such as Silka, during the wars. But it was quite eye-opening to kind of really realise the extent of the war crimes committed by the Soviet and German soldiers during that time period, because you kind of learn perhaps about it in like history class. I don't think that it actually sunk into me when I learned about them, how abusive and how terrible it was. It's almost when I learned about it when I was younger, it just kind of seemed almost factual and this was very much emotional. I'm really glad I read this book. So the one thing that kind of irritated me about it was that it's not exactly historically accurate and I get the impression that even more liberties have been taken with this one than with The Tattooist of Auschwitz, which if you watch my video I also kind of um, debated the pros and cons of a book being historically accurate and whether or not she should have been historically accurate. So while this was an amazing read and extremely valuable to my understanding of the world, especially as someone who's interested in history and how the past affects us today, the fact that the author has taken even more liberations with her story than with the tattooist story from her first book really frustrated me. She apparently based it on Silka's experience, but I would feel more reassured that this, I think it is necessary when you're talking about such poignant, emotional and accusative experiences like these ones to kind of have a very very source-based chapter perhaps at the end or acknowledgement of um, where you got your information from but I do suppose that is just the academic inside me kind of coming out and at the end of the day I think it's wonderful that this story has been told by Heather Morris because Silka was clearly a strong courageous um, bold intelligent woman and I really managed to take that away from the book it's an inspiring story so I just wanted to end with a few questions for you guys wondering what you thought about the book if you enjoyed the amount of detail did you wish it was less graphic did you wish it was more historically accurate and there were less historical liberties or did you enjoy that her writing style focused on the suspension of disbelief and I really enjoyed it and I'd recommend it to anyone looking for an emotional beautiful book um, that just has a little bit more meaning than your uh, average Sunday afternoon read. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and please like and subscribe especially if you'd like to see more videos because it's very motivating. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.